Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada came! <laughs> Chapter 10, Text 17. The Opulence of the Absolute. Katang vidyam aham yogins Katang vidyam aham yogins Tvat sadha parichintayan Mam sadha parichintayan Kesu kesu cha bhaveshu Kesu kesu cha bhaveshu Chintyo si bhagavan maya Chintyo si bhagavan maya Again, these questions are asked by Arjuna for their benefit. The superior devotee is concerned not only for his own understanding, but for the understanding of all mankind. So Arjuna, out of his mercy, because he is a Vaishnava, a devotee, is opening for the common man the understanding of the all-pervasiveness of the Supreme Lord. He addressed Krishna specifically as Yogin because Sri Krishna is the master of the Yoga Maya energy. 
by which he is covered and uncovered to the common man. The common man who has no love for Krishna cannot always think of Krishna. Therefore, he has to think materially. Arjuna is considering the mode of thinking of the materialistic persons of this world. Keshu Keshu Chababeshu refer to material nature. The word bhava means physical things. Because materialists cannot understand Krishna spiritually, they are advised to concentrate the mind on physical things and try to see Krishna is manifested by physical representations. <laughs> Chintyo Ashibhagavan Maya The Supreme Personality of Godhead is not accessible to everyone in the beginning even though He is accessible for everyone but not everyone would like to accept Lord Krishna's accessibility How many come to the Mandir on Sundays? Many, like you. But how many are staying at home? Maybe they are busy, yeah? Maybe they're doing something, like maybe they're working overtime or family reasons. But nevertheless, for those who are endeavoring to come to the Mandir, Krishna is re very readily available. Srila Prabhupada says here, he is covered up by the potency called Yoga Maya. There are two Mayas, that means energy of the Supreme Lord. Yoga Maya in the spiritual world do not see Krishna as God. The devotees, they don't know. And they don't want to know. They don't want to understand whether Krishna is God or not. In the material world, the materialists are covered up by the energy called Mahamaya, the illusory energy that binds us in this material world and also not letting us get out of this material world, to put us into illusion. This is a function of Maya, Mahamaya. Both are illusory energies. Mahamaya for the materialist or the non-devotees and Yoga Maya for the devotees. Sometimes the government will be talking to each other, especially after the lifting of Govardhan Hill. The government was wondering who is this boy? Like this boy. Who is this boy? <laughs> uh, they're, they're wondering because right from the early age, he was only three months old when he killed Putana, the demoness Rakshashi, who came to kill Krishna. Hmm? Was sent by King Kansha. And this demon, her main intention was to poison Krishna by feeding her from her feeding him from her breast. She put some poison on her breast to kill Krishna. But at the same time she wanted to feed Krishna milk. So what happened is that Lord Krishna allowed Putana to come in and when she came in she was so beautiful, she was so attractive, just like a denizen from heaven. No one stopped her, even though her intention is to kill Krishna, Krishna allowed her 
to feed him milk. Now, when he sucked the milk from her breast, he also took her life there. She died. And you know what's the actual length of Putana? 16 kilometers. Okay. It's like from uh, our Iskon Delhi Satnagar to Kanot Place in Delhi. That, that long. And when they, they have to burn her body. When they burn her body, the fragment is so, so nice. Because she was touched by Lord Krishna. Now, the elderly coward man, who is this boy? He killed also after the Shakatasura. Who is Shakatasura? The card demon. demon. And then Trini Bartha. Who is Trini Bartha? Thank you. The whirlwind. Yes. And then so many demons. So many. Agasura. Uh, there is this stork. What's the name of that stork? Bakasura. Asuras. So many Asuras. And you know what happened to all of them? They all become liberated. Krishna only sees the good thing because some of these demons, they were before, they are good, but somehow they were cursed uh, to do this part of the pastimes of the Supreme Lord. When the coward man, they were talking, he must be a great man, but really better than a great man. How else? How can he kill all of these demons? Then one of them says, Oh, he must be a demigod. A very, very powerful demigod. And then one says, Oh, he must be as good as Narayan. <coughs> now when, when they were talking like this, Krishna was in the mastering ground with his coward boyfriends. Nanda Maharaj came. So they asked Nanda Maharaj, who is this boy? Who is this boy? How is it that he can kill so many demons, he can live over the hill with his pinky for seven days? We are wondering who is he? So Nanda Maharaj says, actually, at the time of giving ceremony, name giving ceremony, Namakarana, hmm? there are nine or ten purificatory processes that one goes through in the followers of Sanatana Dharma, in Vedic culture. Even before the baby is born, at the time of conception, before that, the husband and wife will perform what you call Garbadan Samsara. Prabhupada says, uh, our devotees should also do this Garbadan Samskar. At least 50 rounds of chanting Hare Krishna so that your mind will become pure at the time of conception. So, Gargamuni, he was the priest. Uh, he is the priest of Nanda Maharaj. And he said that this boy, came before in three, in three colors, white, red, and yellow. Now he is in blue is black, like a rain cloud, monsoon cloud, like in India, July means monsoon time. Start of Chaturmasya. Is all, like also the color of Tamal tree. It's like in our Krishna Balaram Mandir, we have the tree inside the courtyard, Tamal, blackish color. 
that when the gopis will see the tamal tree, they will embrace the tamal tree. They will think and mistaken that Krishna is right there in front of them. So, Gargamuni used the word this boy. Gargamuni did not use the word your son. Why? Because actually Krishna is like the son of everyone, all the parents in Vrindavan. The elderly cowherd ladies, they consider Krishna to be more dear to them than their own son. That they were not able to distinguish at the time when Lord Krishna stole the cowherd boys and the cats by Lord Brahma for one full year, which is only a moment of Lord Brahma's time. For one full year, Lord Krishna, he expanded himself in this practically unlimited cowherd boys. Exactly the same, looking the same, whatever kurta they're wearing, whatever uh, dhoti, how they, you know, put on the dhoti. Sometimes you see devotees, their dhoti is like very fancy, <laughs> not of twirls. Huh? The same smell, the same fragrance, exactly the same. So that when Krishna, the coward boy, that's the coward boy, he went home, the elderly ladies, they were the, the mothers, they were wondering, how come I am so attracted to this boy? My son, exactly the same as I am attracted to Krishna. Not knowing, because they want, their, their desire was fulfilled to have Krishna as their son. Many, many pastimes of the Supreme Lord happens and He accomplished many, many things. So ultimately, after discussing amongst each other, they thought, it doesn't matter whether Krishna is as good as Naraya. Because Gargamuni, He used the word as good as Naraya. He didn't say that He is Naraya Himself. Hmm? In this way, because rasa is higher than taqwa, that means the relationship that each and every one of us, we have a unique relationship with the Supreme Lord. In taqwa, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But in Vrindavan, the coward boys can ride on the shoulder of Lord Krishna. If they knew that He is God, it's like in Vaikuntha, where everyone is worshipping him with awe and reverence. They cannot do that. In Vrindavan, he would rather have him treated by his devotees seemingly in a lower status or subjugated. Like Mother Yasoda, if she knew that Krishna is God, she will not raise her hand with a stick to chastise him in the Damodar Dila. Hmm? So they figure it out, it doesn't matter whether he's a demigod or not, whether he's a great personality or not, whether he is as good as the lion or not, it doesn't matter. All we want and desire is to increase our love towards the Supreme. I didn't say that, Supreme. <laughs> to this boy. They use the word again, this boy. So the Lord manifests himself in unlimited forms called avatars. Or incarnates, incarnations, the avatars. It's not the movie avatar. You probably have seen that movie. Oh, you don't watch movies, right? There are part, there's a part two also of the avatar. Is the uh, best. Uh, biggest in the box office, gross income or whatever. I think Bahula is like better than that. Right? 
right? But nevertheless, Krishna, when he manifests himself in unlimited forms, like Ram, Vishitha, Varaha, Kurma, Anantasesh, Bhamana, Matsya, Krishna comes in as many in, in as many species of life there are. How many species of life there are? Mm -hmm. 8 million 400,000 species, right? Mm -hmm. So Krishna also expanded himself into as many species of life according to the function or the duty that needs to be performed. So if you're going to think about it, yeah, in other universes, Krishna also has different forms, in one of those forms. Krishna also appeared in his Archavikrana form, which is not different than the Supreme Lord himself. It's like here we have Radha Shama Sutra. Yes? We have Chakra Pahadev Subhadra. Having a little bit of cold right now. This is part of the Lord's Lila. So that we will feel separation. Separation from the Lord is higher than the meeting of the Lord. And the meeting of the Lord, Samboga, is not as exciting. It's not as ecstatic when you're about to see. It's like if your loved ones has been away for a long time, you're so eager to see that person. So similarly, when the Lord becomes out of sight from his devotees, it's like the gopis, they were cursing Lord Brahma for him to be not a perfect creator, second creator. Why? Because they have to blink their eyes for a moment and they don't want to momentarily not be able to see Krishna. So now, Lord Chaganat is a very special incarnation of the Lord, Daru Brahman, in the wooden form. And Lord Chaganat, Balaram, and Subhadra, they are the only deities of the Lord that goes out. Radha Shama Sutra, don't go out. Uh, and Gornitai. Well, of course, in India, Gornitai goes up also. We have Shobayatra. Because the management of Jagannath Puri, they made a complaint to his father. Why are you taking Jagannath Baladev Subhadra in the middle of winter? <laughs> Especially in Delhi, we have about 14, 15 temples. So, Anytime during the year, whenever the Lord would like to perform his Leela and Rata Yatra, he will go out. Even in the middle of winter, we will have coats. He says, no, 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 no. Jagannath only comes on the day of his Rata Yatra. And the day of his Rata Yatra, everyone can see him. Even those who are non-devotees. Uh, in Jagannath Puri, for the Videshis, that means white collar Americans, Europeans, hmm? I'm crazy. Uh, you cannot go inside the temple. It's not possible. It's restricted only for the Hindus, followers of Sanatan Dharma. Even Indira Gandhi cannot go inside. Who was the Prime Minister? Why? Because he's not a, she's not a Hindu. She was a, what? Parsi? Right? Married to a Parsi. So, the Lord is so merciful. The Lord's eyes doesn't have a lead. Eyelids. Mm -hmm. We all have eyelids, right? That's why we sleep. Lord Jagannath doesn't sleep. 
Lord Jagannath is awake all the time. He doesn't close his eyes. Do you see any eyelids of Lord Jagannath? He can be giving darshan to everyone for 22 hours. For two hours, the altar will be closed. And he will not be sleeping. He will give darshan to the demigods. <laughs> that means the demigods like to have darshan of the Lord also. And if you go to Jagannath Puri, even at 10 o'clock at night, you can come and have darshan at 10, 10 p.m. Hmm? Now, Lord Jagannath's eyes is like magnifying lens. <laughs> yeah? If you have magnifying lens and I put it, my eyes will become big. There is a significance of this, which means that he will see Every service, little service that we do for him, and he will magnify that. He'll make it big. Whatever service, but service means unconditional, no selfish motivation. That is what we call service, devotional service. The Chila Prabhupada did the same thing for us. It's like a spark. A little bit of spark, what does he do? He fanned it. <laughs> he fans that little spark in us, that little inclination to serve the Supreme Lord. And he will give so much So much to everyone an opportunity to serve the Supreme Personality of God, irregardless of who we are. Of course, you, many of you are like 99% here from India. You were born in a very pious land, the land of Dharma. But Siddha Prabhupada, he brought Lord Chagana all over the world. And Lord Chagana, Whenever he goes out on the day of his Natriyatra, anyone, whether a non-devotee and non-devotee alike, they will be given mercy on that day. He says that anyone who witnessed the Lord on the day of his Natriyatra will be going back home, back to Godhead. Even a meat eater, Let's say, you know, he's on the sidewalk and he's eating something non-veg and he sees the Lord, oh, what's going on here? This looks really a grand festival. Everyone is smiling, everyone is happy, jumping up and down. I wonder what's going on here. Just by that curiosity and then the devotee will give him a small card, mantra card, please come visit the mandir. Visit our temple. We have a big festival every Sunday. That means the door of liberation is wide open. Of course, that person still has to chant Hare Krishna Mantra. That person still has to what, perform Mangalarti. He still has to do Sakana Bhakti. He still have to cleanse his heart. Still that person has to take initiation, take guidance and shelter from a bona fide spiritual master. This is the process. One still have to follow the process. But that is the beginning. He may not take up the process now. He may take up later on. But nevertheless, he already performed Agyata Sukriti. Agyata Sukriti means unknowingly one is performing bhakti. One performs bhakti by the mercy of his devotees, by engaging them unknowingly. So we're very fortunate 
Lord Jagannath's servants, they are all Savaras. You know what Savara means? Pig eaters. Low class. Because this is one of the name of Lord Jagannath, Patita Bhagavana. He is the savior of the fallen. Patita. Patita means fallen. And Bhagavana means savior. And who can be more for oh, yes. The more we are unqualified, the more we qualify for Lord Jagannath's mercy. <laughs> you don't need to be an educated person. You don't need to be very rich. You don't need to live and born in Bharat Varsha. I love my Bharat. That's what they say, right? I love my India. Because in those days, the whole planet is called Bharat Varsha. But right now, still, the culture of India is very much intact. 